Hello, people. Just came on for a minute to talk to y'all about a few things. And, um, just want to get into a prayer first, though. This probably ain't going to be no long video, but we're going to make one anyway. All right. So, uh, let's get into a prayer. Thank you, Father God, for waking us up this morning and blessing us to see a new day. Watch over us and guide us and guard us and protect us throughout this day. And show us the way. And I pray, Father God, that you come through me at this moment in time, Father God, in order to give the people absolute truth. And I pray, Father God, that you uh, let the Holy Spirit come to me at this moment in time in order to give the people absolute truth. And I thank you for listening to my prayer, Father God. Amen. Yeah, plus a lot of times we have to wait while I cook, guys. Yeah. Right here. But um, what I want to talk about is uh, awesome. these things. Uh, man, they still trying to do nothing. Um, it's, how can I say this? I want you to be able to be open-minded at this moment in time. Because I don't want you to think what I'm saying is wrong. And I don't want you to take it the wrong way. But like I was speaking about another session um, from what I made the videos for yesterday. Now, what I'm thinking is, and what's been going on is, it had been so much deception in the world, right? To the point where um, when they um, it's been so much in here to the point where it got to the point where some don't actually know. They just they don't they don't ask people for where did this come from, or they don't do their research on it, or they don't ask Jesus. And when you ask the Lord, yeah. now the Lord no, he, says, uh, he, he says, forgive he your brother. He so said, bless those that bless you. And, and I mean, bless those that, that you know, I do. I that were, and they throwing stuff on you, but you bless them. Okay, that's understood. Forgive those who harm you. 70 times 7. Forgive them. Keep forgiving. No matter what, no matter what. Forgive them. But this is the thing. I want to know where the thing comes in at where it says, pray for your enemies. That's what I want to know. Now, I know it's forgiven. I know we do that. And I know we, uh, uh, um, I know we bless those, even though they done us wrong, things like that. We still, um, go to do the right thing. Because this shows your character of you not being the same as them. Excuse me. I guess it not didn't come out. I was trying to sneeze, but I guess it didn't want to come out. But um, you show remorse. Now that's understood. Those two things are understood: forgiving and and, and uh, not being like the other and doing the same as that. That way, if you do the same as them, you'll be called a hypocrite. Um, but. When it comes, this is why I tell y'all, you have to go to the Lord, you have to commune with the Lord, you have to speak with the Lord, you have to like know what he's telling you and knowing what he's showing you. You have to ask about these questions because these are questions that no one asks. And these are things that they know not of. So now that all the truth is coming out, and all the truth is coming out, all the money that they stole from the Lord 
which is how they getting it. Um, this is the thing. Your prayers are very important to the Father. Do you know that the things that you're doing that you have to pull away from all this toxicity and uh, uh, remove yourself from all their energies? Do you know this? Now, do you know that when you pray for your enemies, that you give them your energy and your power? Did you know that? Yep. A lot of people don't understand this. You give them that. Your attention, not to, that's why I tell y'all, your attention, the things that you give your energy to, is what you give your power to. When you release and cut from all that, and all this, and all that, and you go in solitude, and you find yourself, it's called a spiritual journey. But it's only with you and God. And you talking to God, you asking him these questions, you letting him know, you know, hey, these things that this this what's going on is, is it really like when we you ask him when you when you get off here, and when you you praying for him, I mean you praying for them, but we in the, we in battles. No, do not pray for them at this moment in time. You're getting in the way of the Father's business. See, this is the thing. When you pray for them, he can't do what he want to do for you or what he's going to do to them. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Because you pray for them. So your prayers is what hinders process of both sides. And that's why that wicked one, he gets you when they when they get to the thing and they want it, they get into a battle with the Lord, and they ask you, oh, and you don't know who you praying for, but they ask you, oh, you need to pray for the, you need to pray for the uh, the people of the, of the of the nation. You need to pray when the people of the nation done wrong God. You see, the thing is, they know they at war with the Lord. And now they want people to pray for them. Don't do it. When you do this, you give them your energy, but your prayers go up to God. It hinders process. So, be very careful about the things of someone talking about oh we need to pray and worship but down pray and worship until they're in a very uh okay. predicament okay. with the lord with and with everybody else you see what i'm saying no don't do that watch and be aware of the things that you're doing. And especially at this moment in time. You see, they don't talk about these things because the Lord don't show them these things. They don't ask. But you need to ask. Like you need to get in behind the scenes and ask them certain type of things like this. So that you would know how to go by doing things, what to do and what not to do. We are in a battle here. There is no praying for the other side right now at this moment in time because God is judging. And it's seven years of this, it's seven years of that, 
and calm is in it mixed too. Don't get yourself tied up in this. You're going to either be on this side or you're going to be on this side. Which one you want to choose? Can't be in the middle. Ain't no middle man. Ain't no middle of this. Ain't no middle of that. You know, on one side or you on another. Plain and simple. But see, the, the, the enemy tries to uh, get you to send your stuff their way so they can be covered when they know they ain't covered. You, so you see where I'm going with this? They know they're not covered. And I don't know how much story I got, so it might be a short video. They know they're not covered. So what they do is they get people to try and pray for them. They say, oh, God, I want you to pray for them, this and that, that, so you can cover them. We're covered. They're not. So what they do is they try and get a little sneak. It's always been some back doors, you know, nonsense that they do. Because they know they're not covered. Like even going through the through the back ram of the uh the spirit, back door in the spirit, and trying to uh, uh, um, say that they this or saying that they that, or or um, or when they trying to uh, manifest something or something like that, and they don't pray to God, but they 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 try and um, steal it from the other person, or they try and steal the other person's stuff and things like that. These things truly happen. See y'all, you got to be aware of these things. The things that the Lord shows me is on, like I tell you, on some esoteric levels. And it's, it's, uh, it's, it's out of, it's, whew. <laughs> and y'all don't understand. <laughs> I'm telling you, you just don't understand. And but what I'm giving you right now is is um, good notions of what's going on and what's happening, and especially right now because it's you know it's it's, it's battles and things like this going on, especially right now because this this battle and these wars and things happened in the spiritual realm before they came here, and we won in the spiritual realm, so we're definitely going to win here. The light always wins. Because the light is the light and it shines on the darkness. It just takes a little while for it to go, but it'll be gone after everything goes on and things like that. So y'all kind of like, uh, but it, it just don't make no sense how this, it had to play out though, because the Lord spoken. He already know these things. He already know what's going to happen before it happened, when it happened, how it's going to happen, everything. He knows it all. He's 40 million light years ahead of time. <laughs> so I ain't got too much story, but I was just uh I just want y'all to know and just just think about that, you know, and uh and not to saying, you know, don't be wrong or crucial to your enemy or nothing like that. But it's just when you feed into that, you give them your energy. I'm just letting you know. And then you're hindering the process. And then, you know, so I'm just letting you know. So I pray and I prophesy, I declare and I decree that uh, you find the wisdom and the knowledge and the understanding and the discernment of what's going on at this moment in time. Okay? So, um, I thank y'all for listening to these messages. Um, get to some fast, some prayer, some reading your word, build a relationship with the Lord. This is God's good news for you today. Y'all be blessed. Amen.